It takes less than 10 seconds to become the 100 metres world champion. It takes less than one second to be disqualified for a false start. Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world, was sensationally sent off in the flagship sprint final, surprising everyone, not least our sports reporter Kamian Zerum, who was trackside in Daegu this evening. Silence. He stares at his size 12 feet. Usain Bolt's start was always his weakness, but who could have predicted this? Set. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, that was a false start. Usain Bolt, the defending world champion, world record holder, 9.58 seconds. But it looks like his time tonight is going to be disqualification. That is a really, really huge shock. The fastest man on the planet knew, everybody knew. Bolt was furious. Some had speculated that he'd lost his edge and hadn't fully recovered yet from injury. Had he not been so hungry, in all probability, he would have proved those doubters wrong. But now, one false start and you're off. Without Bolt, the gold medal was anybody's. How appropriate it would end with his friend and compatriot, Johan Blake. People say Blake runs without fear, but sprinting to the victory most had assumed would be Bolt's, he was humble. Knowing that somebody had already false started, the pressure must have been absolutely phenomenal. Well, I've been working um, with this um, my whole life in training and coaching me to teach me to deal with pressure. But it's unfortunate that my training partner, you say, Bolt was out because he was looking forward for this race, you know, and um, I was feeling sad and happy at the same time. Obviously, you're missing the big man. What do you think of the red car system? Uh, you know, it, you saw what it, what it did. Uh, definitely put a damper in the sport. But it's part of the rules. You got to play by the game. The crowd really came to see you, Sam Bolt, and I'm, I'm disappointed that they didn't get what they want because right now it's a face of track and field. So, what do you think about the red card system then? It's not making the sport any easier, any better, but we are not the one who make the rules. The red card rule, only two seasons old, has few fans on or indeed off the track. But in a world where immovable TV schedules are king, even Usain Bolt comes second. When you have tight timelines for television. You know, and let's say that you're, let's say those false starts happen in the 400 meters, uh, the 800 meters, even in the middle of the, the, the event, and then the last meets the 100 meters that everybody wants to see, but it doesn't get to air because the meet is running now eight minutes, 10 minutes behind schedule. So that's why the rule was, was put in place. But how many high profile athletes have fallen foul of the changes? For Britain's fastest man, Dwayne Chambers, full started two today in his 100 meters semi. No British men made it to the flagship final, but there may yet be a woman, Jeanette Quatchi, progressing cleanly from round one. So the travelling hopes today rested squarely on Mo Farah's slim shoulders. For nearly 10 kilometres, he ran the perfect race. And how close he came to the gold. That's it for him, but... And silver's not bad. It's not, but we all wanted gold, you know. His name was on the gold medal. It means a lot when, uh, winning a major medal. It, it definitely means a lot. Um, it would have been nice with a gold, but, you know, better man won on the day. That's probably not what Usain Bolt would say tonight. Kami Enzerum, Channel 4 News at the World Athletics Championships in South Korea.